Hello Mark, I just wanted to go over all the metals. Uh, this is your cut water, it's stainless steel. We're going to polish this right here in house. Um, this is your gauge. When we sent this off to have the gauge repaired, at that time we weren't planning on doing any chrome. Uh, this one actually cleaned up pretty good. So um, we can send it back to the gauge guy and he can get the chrome done. And that's our current plan. We have four step pad frames. These guys are chrome. Uh, so we're going to get those done. Uh, this is your stern uh, exhaust pipe ring. We're going to get it re-chromed, but you know, gosh, it's not even round. Uh, I might could get this thing cut out of stainless, and that might make more sense. It is just a flat plate about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Uh, that might actually make more sense. We have these two stamped uh, uh, ventilators. Uh, we thought they might be stainless since they were stamped, but they are, in fact, chrome plate of brass. This is the trim ring for around your gas pipe. Here's your gas cap. We're going to have to get a chain and um, and what they call an anchor that goes down the in the uh, tank that keeps this from falling off into the lake. Uh, we have the two lifting rings and we have the gear shift here with the two um, uh, you know the pivot points for the mount and it's bent and we're not planning on straightening it unless you tell us you want it straightened. I figure. It may be bent for a reason, maybe to keep it out of your passenger's way. I think maybe it was bent from maybe, may, maybe bent from the factory. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't show. Usually, when one side stretches, then the chrome, being hard, would crack, and we don't see those. We don't see any stress cracks. Let us know if you want us to straighten it first, but uh, we're not sure it was straight to begin with. All right, then uh, steering steering column. Uh, we have a beauty tube right here, and we have the throttle right here. We have a trim ring that's going. Uh, we have the, uh, um, uh, this is a part of the hinge, this, this hinge assembly makes this uh, steering column work at any angle, uh, so that was uh, an adjustable uh, unit, kind of neat. All right, let's see. Uh, over here, we have things that we're not going to chrome. We have a stern pole assembly. I can buy you a brand new stern pole assembly that looks the same, that has the same knurled nut, the same, uh, it's all the same. Uh, and uh, I'm going to buy one of those. Uh, you wanted a portable spotlight instead of uh, chroming this one, as I recall. Please confirm that. Uh, I can buy, uh, this is made by Perco originally, and they still make it. So we're buying that brand new. Uh, these are still being made. They are slightly larger, which actually they're more usable, slightly larger, uh, and so we're buying those new. And the chalks looked like somebody was kind of buying scrap chalks. There's two of one flavor and two of yet another flavor, and so we're going to buy four of, well, these are called skein, this, this, with these fingers like this, and we're buying uh, four of this style. It'll only have two screw holes instead of the three, but we're buying four of those style. Uh, that's much uh, much better than chrome plating. All right, then these guys are aluminum, so we can't chrome plate these. Uh, we will buff the, uh, this is your windshield brackets, and we'll be buffing those. And uh, all of your uh, uh, all of your trim, which is inside this bag, uh, well, which there's more of it, but anyway, all your, all your chrome plated brass trim we are replacing in stainless which is much more durable uh, the uh, bow the bow light uh, here's the lenses that were in the bow light we did actually find a green bow lens, bow light lens that is the right size in Manistee Michigan uh, but it has a big crack right down the middle of it um, so we're not planning on reusing these guys um, I thought maybe your bow light might have been a Perco, but uh, it appears not. I sent you an email. Where did the bow light go? The bow light hardware. Oh. So anyway, it was originally sixteen dollars. Look at that. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, bow light lens lens is. Uh, and we couldn't find a brand name on it, and we could not find a reproduction lens. I seem to remember 
And it could be that I was on laughing gas, and that's why I seem to remember that there's a company out there that does nothing but hard-to-find lenses. So uh, I'm going to search them on the Internet, but once we've done that, we have probably turned over every rock, if I can't find them, that we can turn, possibly turn over. Uh, the one green lens that we found was in Manistee, Michigan. So uh, chances are slim to none, and slim's out of town, uh, being as we have no brand name. Uh, for this uh, for this piece there's no brand name uh, there's uh, no casting numbers uh, chances are slim to none and slim's out of town that we're actually going to find the uh, the right lens for that so anyway that's an update on uh, all that hardware we normally have a two week turnaround uh, so we're uh, we're sending this off uh, and uh, uh, to uh, actually a new plater, plater that wants to please us really, really badly. So uh, uh, they've wanted our business for a while. So we're, uh, we're um, anyway, that's the story. And uh, we're getting back familiar and uh, we're lifting the boat later today. And so you'll probably get these updates with questions and so forth uh, 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 daily for, or at least maybe every couple of days for the next little while. Thanks, Mark. Bye.